All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So today is going to be a bonus read because I already uploaded the what do you need to know right now. So I would go check out that reading. It's really good. Plus there's also some information. Reading was kind of a rant. I was ranting about a bunch of different topics and healing modalities and all that. But anyways, um, if you are interested, go check that out. But this reading is going to be your love reading. Okay, so let's take a look and see. Whoever is on your mind, we're going to tap into that energy today and see what they're feeling, what's the connection, what's the connecting energy, and where is this heading, okay? If you guys wanna book something personal, I'm currently offering 15% off, but check the uh, date and time of when this video, when you're seeing this video, because that promo might not be active anymore, okay? Um, all right, so let's take a look at the past energy. I already have cards flying out. Okay, so past energy between you and this person on your mind. Past energy, ooh, heartbreak, three of swords. Okay, so you guys had a falling out. You might have had a breakup or a separation. Um, both of you are heartbroken right now. Recent past. Okay, so you guys both felt the the impact of this this falling out, this separation. Someone really got their heart broken here. I do feel like it's both of you, but I feel here specifically someone really got their heart broken. Okay, their current energy towards you. What's their current energy towards you? The choice is going chariot in reverse. So they're not taking any action. They're not really moving towards you right now. Um, they are holding back from you. Okay, so it's very likely that this person that you're dealing with um, is probably not saying much or doing much in regards to the connection because they really are holding back. Uh, sorry, I don't if the focus is going in and out again. I think it's also because it's dark out here. It's so early in the morning, guys. Um, <laughs> Okay, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna get into it. I'm just gonna try to stay focused here. I've been like ranting too much in the past videos. Okay, so um, let's take a look. So your current energy towards your person. Your current energy towards your person. Yeah, you are feeling very disconnected from them right now. So we have the lovers coming through in reverse. Okay. Yeah, 100% there was a falling out between the two of you and you're, you're feeling that. We're gonna look a little bit deeper into their feelings, but current energy, I don't see them making too many moves towards you. Why is this all happening? Why is this all happening? Wow, the 10 of cups. This is sad because there could have been so much emotional fulfillment here. Both of you felt like there could have been so much emotional fulfillment that you guys could have had this happy, um, Happy ending together, happily ever after together, Ten of Cups. Hmm. So I think this is definitely a mutual thing where there was a lot of interest on both ends. We'll look at the Three of Swords after. How do they see you right now? How do they see you? Ten of Wands. They know that you're going through a lot. They see you as someone who has... Um, a lot on your plate, a lot of burdens. They feel like you're very weighed down right now. You're feeling the impact of this. Ten of Wands. So whether it's related to the... I feel like it, for a lot of you, it's going to be that this person is aware that in relation to this connection, that this has really taken a toll on you or is really weighed on you. But also they see you as someone who has a lot going on in your life as well. So they know that this is not really adding... Um, this is not really helping the situation. Okay, it's just adding more to your plate. How do you see them? How do you see your person? The Eight of Swords in Reverse. You see them as someone who is really trying hard to break out of their self-limiting beliefs. Okay, so this could be someone who has struggled with negative thinking or self-imposed beliefs, but you see them as someone who's trying to break out of this, someone who's trying to release themselves from maybe negative thinking, self-sabotage even. Okay, where is this heading? Where is this connection heading? I see a new beginning for you guys. We have the Ace of Cups. So if you still have feelings for this person, I see that there could be a new beginning for the two of you, even though there was this past heartbreak. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? The Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, remember how I was saying that I feel that someone was more heartbroken than the other. I'm saying that both of you were heartbroken, but for some reason I'm getting this feeling that one person specifically was more 
heartbroken about whatever happened. For some reason, it hit the other person a little bit more. And I feel like that's you guys coming through as the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe it's affected your work life because this person is seeing you as the Ten of Wands. So they know that you've already got a lot going on. So they know that this extra pain that you're dealing with is not helping you. Some of you might have a, like a family that you have to take care of. You have a career that you, that you take care of. Um, you're someone who has a lot of responsibilities already and this heartbreak has not been easy. It's taken a toll on you and your person is very well aware of that. So they know, I don't know if you've told them like, Hey, listen, like I've got a lot going on in my life. Like this is not helping, whatever it may be. Or they just intuitively sense this because they know you've got a lot going on. Okay. But I do see, let's see why your person is not taking any action towards you. Why is the chariot reversed? I feel like eventually they will. So they're just stuck in their regret right now. It's mainly just they're sad and they're stuck in their regret, but I'm seeing here that they will come through with a new offer. Um, I see, I don't know if it's going to be you or them, but what it's telling me is that in the near future, there's a potential here, if you want it, to have a new beginning in love, a fresh start in love, because I feel like there's still strong emotions here, especially with the fact that this connecting energy is the Ten of Cups. So this does seem to be something that both of you want to have. Um... Something that both of you feel strongly here. Okay, so let's take a look at their feelings. Okay, how are they feeling about you? Current energy. How do they currently feel about you? Yeah, this person is wanting to come towards you, okay? Like I said, I don't think they are quite yet because they are stuck in their regret, but they are feeling this energy of wanting to move the situation forward. So once they get out of this Five of Cups energy, um, the Chariot, I feel like, will come back upright and will move forward towards you because they feel this draw towards you. They still have emotion for you. Yeah, you make them really happy. Aw, you make this person really happy. Okay, and that's sort of the driving force of them wanting to come back towards you. What is this regret that they are experiencing? What is this regret? The devil and the six. They're regretting that they allowed their fears um, and their lack of confidence to affect this connection. I think you guys know that because you're seeing them as the eight of swords. So you're aware that they have some sort of self-limiting beliefs that they, needed to, they need to release. I'm not sure if you guys talked about this. Um, but what I'm seeing here is this person has some confidence issues and it's a deep rooted fear for them. Okay. And what they're regretting is that they allowed this to affect the connection that they allowed their fears to take over and affect their confidence when it came to you. Okay. But they're really feeling this like kind of pull towards, towards you and coming back to the connection to have a new beginning. Let's see. We need to know about this connection space. What else do we need to know about this connection? Um, some of you guys could be dealing with Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. They could have it in their chart, or you could be that. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of fear within this connection, both of you. So that could have been one of the main issues in the past is that both of you are battling a lot of fear. Ooh, and we do have third party here. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like there's a lot of fear related to this connection that could have um, affected this, but also maybe someone self-sabotage because of their fear. But then we also have this third party, so it looks like there was an interference as well. Why is third party here? The Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, someone was juggling. So <clears throat> I get the sense that someone here in the past was holding back their emotions because they were juggling two people. So that's also something that has affected the connection. That could be why I'm picking up that you are the one who seemed to be more heartbroken in the situation. If your person roles, keep in mind roles can be reversed, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell it how I see it right now. So I feel like if you, you are aware that your person was dealing with someone else, whether it's someone they were currently with or just a past energy that they couldn't release or let go of. What I'm seeing here is that this person was holding back from you because they weren't prioritizing. You weren't their number. I just, I'm going to say it. They, you weren't their number one priority. 
um, even if you were, they weren't acting like you were, okay? So you could have been the one that was more heartbroken, especially Three of Swords can also indicate third parties as well. So that could be why there's so much fear coming up for you. So let's see your person, if your person is dealing with a third party, what is their current energy towards that person? What is their current energy towards that person? That Ace of Wands in reverse. So this could be something that's very on and off. I do feel like they're keeping their options open. Look at this. Oh gosh. I feel like whoever this person is that they're dealing with, it's a connection that's very on and off, but it could also just be someone that's an option for them. Not, I don't see this as someone that they prioritize at all. Um, Three of Cups is, I feel like there's a lingering energy here. So whoever, so their energy towards this person is that they're not solely focused on them. Seven of Cups could be keeping their options open. Okay, this could be something that's kind of dying out as well as what I'm hearing, the Ace of Wands in reverse. This could be something that's dying out. Okay, let's take a look at their message for you. What's their message for you? This person on your mind, what's their message for you? I'm trying to trust in divine timing. I've never felt a love like this before. I have a plan, but you have to trust me. Okay, yeah, so this person definitely wants to come back towards you. Um, they haven't felt this way before. So like I said, if, they, if this is someone who does frequently explore their options or who has a lot of options, um, they're definitely recognizing the difference in terms of how they feel with you, which I think is why we have this 10 of cups. This is the mutual energy. So you guys both feel that there's a whole lot of emotional fulfillment here. So they do have a they do have a plan, um, but they're wanting you to trust them. And that's why I'm gonna clarify this Ace of Cups because I see that there's a new beginning in the near future for the two of you, if you want it. Um, we have justice in reverse. Yeah, so I think there was some lack of fairness in the past. I think your person in the past was not fair to you because they were very detached from you. But I see this person wanting to come around and offer you more emotion this time. Okay, so if you felt in the past that they were detached, they were closed off, this was unfair. But this person wants to come back and offer you more emotion. Let's just quickly take a look at their intentions. So this person's intentions. Mm, okay, King of Cups. King of Cups reverse. Ooh, we have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Okay, keep in mind if this person does come back around, um, they might not. They might still not be ready for commitment. So if that was an issue in the past, they might still not be ready for commitment. I do feel like this person has to do some emotional healing, or there is something that's still keeping them kind of emotionally unavailable um, and maybe non-committal. The feelings are there. I don't know if this is like a long-term thing or is this is just like in the beginning when you first start talking to this person, you might notice that there's still kind of a non-committal energy and this is mainly due to the fact that they still need to heal or there's still some sort of emotional unavailability from this person, but they do have feelings for you and this person will be coming back towards you. It's whether or not you want to have this um, with them, okay? So the tarot is gonna bring out opportunities, but obviously you, get, you have free will and you can choose whether or not you wanna be with someone. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. So I do hope that this reading was helpful. Um, if you wanna book your own personal reading, I am offering 15% off, but just make sure you check the time as to when you're watching this video to make sure the promo is still on, okay? But I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.